Hey, Virginia. Um, I really like your caricature. It's really coming along really well. Um, and you're off to a good start with your text. I would really suggest breaking up each word on a different layer. Then you can really manipulate it so you can put it more into the negative space um, and just make it a lot a lot more interesting. Um, have a look at those um, some of those examples I posted. So um, the background is, is a bit confusing. Um, to me and I think it would be to any audience. Um, if you have a garden glitter, um, you know, a garden theme, you probably want to use more of a garden-y um, background. I mean the music theme is okay, but if um, if it was a music, um, you know, a music theme, you could do something like the one person um, that I, I think I showed you before. Um, this one shows um, also how they broke up the text and really used a different, well actually, you know, two different fonts and split it up and added some, you know, strokes and so on. But again, this is kind of a performing theme, but notice the grass. Um, it does have the theatrical curtain, but the grass really make, ties it all together with the garden aspect. So um, I would suggest either doing something that incorporates the garden. I mean, maybe you could add the spotlights. Um, to with a garden in the background or something if you want to keep with that theme because um, I think the caricature looks really cool um, so and just the um, the background does make the caricature a little bit hard to see um, I'm going to turn it off and actually just I mean if it's just so much easier if you have like a, a white back I mean I'm just going to use a white background now but just um, um, complicated backgrounds are really make it hard to see the um, what's going on. So um, that's why you might want to. Oh, I didn't want that to be black. Um, so you may want to continue searching for some. Um, I'm going to turn this thing off too because it makes it hard to see. Um, I would continue searching for a background. You can incorporate some kind of stage effect, but just. Be sure to include, um, you know, like I say, some of the um, the vegetable theme. I would make your whole caricature um, larger because it's a little bit small. Because um, you've got a lot of details, you can't, you know, if you can't see the details, um, it's really, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, what happened here? No, oh, something's not in the folder. So anyway, I would go. I would make it quite a bit bigger. Um, I'm gonna undo it though. I don't know. There's that little pickle thing. Um, anyway, I'll just decrease it. Um, so right through here is a little problematic. Um, so you might want to use something if you want to keep the mic in there. I would use a lighter flower because then it's going to make the, the mic stand out. Um, one of the biggest concepts and lessons in design is um, this idea of contrast. Whatever, whenever you want to see something, you need to have enough contrast. So, um, same with text. Like dark text on a dark background doesn't work. Light text on a light background. If if there's not enough contrast, it's just really hard to see. So if I turn your your um, your th your layer back on, you can see how some of these elements you can't even see them. So um, it's just a really important. Um, concept in any kind of visual design. Um, I would also make the shadow a little bit lighter. That's pretty easy to do. And if you blur it, it will look more like a real shadow. I would add a gradient fill to it, like in that tutorial. Um, that also helps. So anyway, um, just some thoughts going forward. You still have a couple more revisions to go anyway. So again, um, just incorporate the garden theme into the background a little bit more and just make sure that the the some some of the parts just stand out but i really like how how this is that come i like you know i personally even without the microphone let's see which other ones are there um i don't know what flower this is um, anyway, even without the microphone idea, I think this caricature is really cool, and I really love the use of perspective um, on the, um, you know, the legs and the feet, and you know, and how this one's bigger and comes forward. I think I think you've done a really great job, and you've really come a long way with this. I think you really understand a lot more about how to put this design together, and it has a nice sense of depth as well. Um, okay, so let me know if you have any questions. I'm on Hangouts all the time, so um, yeah, looking forward to seeing um, what you show next.